Hello, I'm Mary and thank you so much for coming. I pray that as you listen to this video today, your life will not remain the same again. Rabo Saka Tatai, Rabo Santa Tai, only 10 lionesses. I'm not looking for everybody. Some people are too organized to be blessed, too organized to be lifted. Jacqua take a bend, Rabo Saka Tatai, Rabo Saka Tata Baraba. Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost. A tende ke beleke, I didn't come for everybody. It's obvious, my shakata, Rabba Sande Lekete, Rebebe Sende, Rabba Shakata Toma. Thank you, Abba Father. We give you praise. We give you glory. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. <laughs> Makodi, you know, sometimes the daughter of God has been organizing this conference, and there is a hunger in her heart. I pray. That you will become the manifestation of that hunger. See, I didn't come here as a woman. So don't think I came as a woman. I came as a voice. I came as a voice. So that the lionesses that are in the cage will come out of the cage. Come out of your cultural cage. In the name of Jesus. My God, my God, my God, my God. You don't know what is happening. You can't sense it in the spirit. You can't sense it in the spirit. Mashakwa take a man. Holy Ghost. Reva Sakatatamai. Holy Masalamarabas. Shakwa takabarabarabaraba. Hold it. Makodi, listen. When Mary, when Elizabeth heard the voice of Mary, the baby in her womb began to leap. I didn't come for everybody. There are people that are carrying a pregnancy that is long overdue. It's long overdue. That pregnancy, you must give back to it. You must give back to it. I say you must give back to it. If you are the one, say, my father, my father. Oh, my God, my God, my God. Say, my father, my father. Say, Holy Ghost. Don't leave me like this. Open your mouth and cry to your father. It's not about your position or your title. Is this how we pray? 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 Where are the lionesses? They say we came to raw. They say we came to... You can't go back like this. You can't go back like this now. Oh my God. Oh my God. You can't go back the same. Fire cannot burn. And you are standing in the same place. Oh my God. Holy Ghost, in Jesus' mighty name we pray. I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. I didn't come for everybody. Some people are used to conferences. They come and they go and they remain the same. One day you will wake up, you are 70. Hey, God forbid. The dream he gave you at 35. The dream he gave you at 25. The dream he gave you at 17, that dream will not die. I said that dream will not die. It doesn't matter whether you are in your husband's house. That dream will not die. If you are the one I'm talking to, shout a louder, amen. amen. Oh my God, my God is shout a louder, amen. amen. I want one lioness to roar, an amen. amen. They said it's a lioness conference, right? Lioness is roar, roar for territory. When we roar, we roar for territory. I want the territories you are supposed to conquer. They say we... If you want to shout, you better shout. Hey! If I say hey, you say hey, hey! 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 Holy Ghost! Hey, Amara. We are just starting. Listen. A maternity world is not quiet. A maternity world is not quiet. A maternity world is not a quiet place. Inside the maternity world, destinies are being pushed out. So you hear the woman shout, ah, because something is happening. If you know you are giving birth to a destiny tonight, can you give him a shout of praise? Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. Listen. 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 Your family is your territory. Your children, your territory. Your husband. <laughs> oh my.
my God. Wait. They say, that woman snatched my husband. Your territory. Your territory. Your territory. My shatana badabada. Anyone I call, say my territory. Your husband. Your children. Your neighbors. That office. Where your shop is. Now roar for that territory. Holy Ghost. Hey. Hey. If I say hey, you say hey. 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 Look at your neighbor. Say hey. This place is too quiet. This place is too quiet. Look at your neighbor, say neighbor. Say tonight, it's about territory. I'm a lioness. I am a lioness. That is who I am. I came to roar. So forgive me. I'm about to roar. Look at your neighbor and say, ah! Holy Ghost, sit down. Sit down. That's right. That's right. You are too normal to be blessed. It's abnormal people like the woman with the issue of blood that collect their blessing by force. Even if he was not coming my way, I touch him. Whether I touch him or he touch me, something touch. Somebody shout fire. Shout fire. Shout fire. Shout pop and shout fire. Whatever. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I'm seeing that's right. I told you when Mary, when Elizabeth heard the voice of Mary, the baby in her womb began to leap. She said, This one looks like the kind of anointing I want. This is the kind of grace I want. Not this quiet, cold, frozen. Ice block everything that sat on you, collected everything and left an empty shell. But tonight, you are coming out of that cage. Let the devil hear that, amen. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, let the angels hear your amen. Oh, let the father hear your amen. Sit down. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> you came to this season for such a time as this. Hallelujah. By the grace of God, I want to appreciate our mother in the Lord. God bless you, mommy. Thank you very much. Never met her before. I'm just seeing her for the first time. And that is what... That is what the wind can do. <laughs> you don't understand. I came from one remote place in Lokoja. But when the wind begins to blow, even you will be surprised at the direction the wind will blow you to. When I heard that I was supposed to minister at this conference, the first thing that happened to me was fear. Because I have been following Papa online. I follow his messages. Sometimes before I fall asleep, I'll be listening. I say, I like the spirit of the servant of God. Every word, no fear. He's a fearless lion. <laughs> Listen, don't clap. Don't clap yet. Don't clap. I want you to understand. When we understand the work of pastor is simplified. So be shouting, and you go back the same way. Because you don't understand. Understanding brings illumination. When you understand, you outstand. Sometimes people that even understand don't talk. They will just be doing, mm, mm, if they enter, when? Not the, hey, yeah, oh, yeah, oh. They leave this gate now. They say, Jesus, we want to die in Macodio. They want to kill us. But the person that just finished shouting now, now, as he step out of this gate, every confession is negative. But you see, when understanding enters, you don't even want anybody to touch you. 
Believe me. It's entering. It's like collecting drip. I pray that the word will enter like drip this night. What a normal conference. I'm tired of normal conferences. It's not the conference. It's what you do with the revelations you receive from the conference. May the word you hear, may it enter and become a walking word. May you become the word made flesh. The word made flesh. <laughs> so, my first response was fear. Up till when I was coming, I said, I'm going to stand on the same pulpit. Oh, God help me. Up till the last minute I left my seat, I said, Father, what made apostle to hunger? What made him to pray the way he does and to, to minister the way he does? I said, Father, as I climb this altar, let it fall on me. That's my prayer. And how blessed you are sitting under the same grace every day, yet you don't know that God is here. I will not leave as I came in Jesus' name. It's personal. But I don't shame it. Holy Ghost, help me. Our time is not enough. Help me. But my prayer is that understanding will enter. It will enter in the name of Jesus. So I want to appreciate mommy. Thank you so much for this privilege. Thank you. Please help me celebrate. You know, sometimes, sometimes I wish I can be like, like her, you know. They are gentle people. She, the word is coming gently. The word she just gave us now. You know, there are guns that are silencers. It's shooting but no noise. <laughs> Dangerous guns. They kill somebody, Nana, but you don't know. That one, she just shoot the word. Piap, it enter. She just talked about our character as part of the going. Some people like us, sometimes if I try to do like that, people would think I'm sick. There was one time I said I'll be sober. I made up my mind that day that I'll be sober. So when I left my house, I deliberately, the great man said, well, good man. People say, Sister Alice, are you, I hope you are okay. <laughs> I said, I'm trying to be sober. The Bible says we should be sober. And be like, no, 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 that is not me. Hallelujah. Praise God. Praise God. Celebrate your father. speaking in the book of 12 chapter 2 verse 28 it says in the last days I will pour my spirit upon your sons and your daughters and they shall prophesy oh what, what a time what a time you are going to be one of them in the name of Jesus take your seat in the presence of God hallelujah praise God the topic before us tonight is go ye into the world I pray that God will give us grace and time. Thank God for this time so that we will be able to do justice to it. I told you that understanding will give us illumination. It is the light that you have that will make you to run. Right light determines your speed. I was driving one night and my light was bad. Even Okada overtook my car because my light was bad. Bicycle with good light will overtake a jeep with bad light. It's not about the size of the vehicle. It's about the light that it carries. It is that light that will make you shine in your darkness. It is that light that will make you shine in your family. It is that light. They look at the others and they look at you. You are different from them. Because there is a light that makes you illuminate and come out of darkness. I pray in this lioness conference, oh, may you contact that light. I'm not talking to everybody. May you contact that light. May in that family, may you shine as light. In that business that you are doing, may you shine as light. Oh my God, if your amen is louder, take it by fire. Hallelujah. Mommy already read for us. Go ye into the world and preach this gospel. Because of our time, I will just go small, small 
anywhere we stop, the most important thing is for us to catch the revelation of what it means to go. Hallelujah. Amen. Go ye into the world is a command. Mommy has told us that already. Listen to me, women. I'm thank, I thank God for the men of God that joined us here tonight. You encourage us. And that is what it's supposed to be. We complement one another. We are not competing. So let's celebrate the men in our midst tonight. Is that all the clap you can give to them? Hallelujah. Praise God. Praise God. So go ye into the world. It's a command. Go ye into the world. It's not a suggestion. It's not a suggestion. It's a command. And Jesus commanded the disciples to go into the world and preach this gospel. They should make disciples of all nations. Mommy has told us that one. They should make disciples. They should heal the sick. Demonstrate the power of God. And advance the kingdom of God. That command was given to disciples. Hallelujah. So that command is not for everybody. Before you carry out that command, she ended by saying, you must be empowered. If not, you will be roasted like suya. Because you are going against a power. And when power jam power, if you are not carrying the original power, the original power, the one that is more powerful than you, will swallow your power. I pray that your light will not be dimmed in the mighty name of Jesus. Can I get a louder amen? Can I get a louder amen? Hallelujah. So, I just want to summarize that so that I can move ahead. I want to wrap up what she just said and build from that place. Now, go ye into the world. It's like she read to us on the book. It's a, it's a command. For the command that was given to the disciples, there is a commander, there is the command, and there is the commanded. There is a commander, there is the command, and there is the commanded. Hmm. An understanding of these three will help us. It will give us the kind of light we need. Evangelism will no longer be by force. Evangelism becomes your lifestyle. Hallelujah. When evangelism becomes your life, lifestyle, you don't need the church to fix evangelism day before you preach. You are in the taxi. You are looking for an opportunity to talk God. You are in your office. You are just looking for an opportunity to just bring something about God into the gist. Anywhere you find yourself, you just want your God to be glorified because you are so wired up that you, your mouth, everything is just emitting God. God. Hallelujah. So going into the world is a command given to disciples. So there is the commander there is the commanded and there is the command and there is the commanded hallelujah praise God I want to start first of all from the commander I will, I will go gradually from mommy's point then I will now enter the scripture I want to take tonight but let me buttress that one let me add something to it so that we can have an understanding the commander the person that is sending you matters a lot if you don't understand who is sending you you will do the work anyhow. <laughs> that is why in church we beg people to do things. Because they don't understand the one that commanded them. They don't, they don't understand, sweetheart. They don't. Hey! <laughs> when you are dressing up to come up here, do you know who you are coming to represent? That understanding will choose your dress. This one that we tell you, say, is it wrong? But the slit is just here now. It has not reached here. I'm tired of pastor. He talks too much. You don't understand. Even the pastor is under obligation. He's under the command of the commander. Hey, you are shanta. That keeps us humble. It keeps us humble. There's no room for pride. All of us are under the commander. Hey, if he's not the one commanding you, then who sent you? Who are you representing? Oh, may I not see him? And then he said, I never knew you. You did everything. You casted out demons. You spoke in tongues. But I don't know you. Who were you representing? Who sent you? May that not be your testimony. Yeah. Going into the world is a command from a commander. Wait, who is this commander? We call him Jehovah Sabaoth, The commander of the host of heaven's army. 
Rabashata. Do you know his character? He is holy, holy, holy. Three times, holy. Do you understand that? Not one. Man can be one time holy. But this one is three times holy. He's the one you are representing. Even the people who represent the president, there is a way they carry themselves. They don't represent the president anyhow. Even the driver of the president is proud to introduce himself as the driver of the president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Even the cleaner in that house is happy to say, I am the cleaner of the president. Now, we serve a God that is the president of presidents. See, when I do this, I represent him, I'm excited. I'm excited. It's a privilege. Who am I? I'm the daughter of a farmer. I'm from Adoka here. Adoka, Adoka. One village. Yeah. From Adoka there. My father is a farmer. Mother is a farmer. But who am I? But when the commander says, come, I want to send you. It's a privilege. It's a privilege. You do it with dignity. So when he says, go. You go. There's no turning back. Mommy, let me share the testimony. She said she wanted to do crusade. When she was talking, I was nodding my head. Because you see, when you see the pattern, the pattern is the same. She's not lying. It's true. Because it has happened to me. <laughs> there are many women here, mommy, that are sitting down, quarreling with their husbands and their visions have died because they said he refused to support them. Help me. Holy Ghost, help me. I said, Father, if this your vision you gave me must be fulfilled, then give the provision. And the provision began to come. I remember the first time I received one million from somebody I didn't even know. I was planning to do a widow's, some widow's programs on giveaway. And then I was sitting in the church. My head was on the table. It is my passion. I told my husband, because the church has its own problems. My husband is the pastor. Revival House Church with pastor in Lokoja. The church has enough challenges. Now my passion is to gather women, to bless the widows and to bless the elderly women. It gives me joy. But you see, it comes with a price. I, if I hang it on the church, it will be a problem because it's not their vision. It's the one I think God gave to me. Oh, if he gave me, Father, support it. He said, when I sent you, did you lack anything? Holy Ghost, women are sitting down here. You say he's not giving me the money. That is why I cannot do the work. I can't join choir because he refused to show me uniform. God punish the devil. Today you are coming out. Lioness, you are coming out. Listen to me. Listen to me. If you are going to sell a cara, sell a cara to do it. If you are going to sell orange, sell orange to do it. If you are going to sell cassava, how do you show him that you love him? How? How? Raw, my sister, raw. That's right. That's right. Carry your bag and go. First of all, I said, Father, I want to gather them in thousands this year. I want to gather them. I want to be a blessing to them. Oh, God, help me. You know what I did? I went and joined contribution. I joined contribution. I said, you people should put me. My main aim is because I want to gather widows and feed them. <laughs> I was standing in the market. I was prizing one bag of rice. Mind you, I was a lecturer before. University of Just Department of Languages and Linguistics. I began to lecture at the age of 24. Yes. At 24, I had my master's degree. As I'm studying, two of my children are already medical doctors now. So, don't think that it's one yeah, yeah, woman that is standing in your... My first daughter is a doctor. My second one is a doctor. In fact, she did her internship in Federal Medical Center, Makodi here. Yeah. Listen to me. When it comes to God... It is personal. That is what I want you to leave this Lioness conference with. Personal. Personal. Your pastor on the day of judgment will be standing on his own to collect his reward. 
your husband will stand to collect his own reward. The person with the marking scheme is the Holy Ghost himself. Your husband is not the one with the marking scheme. Holy Ghost, they say, Alice! I will come and stand. What did I tell you when you were 17? I remember everything he told me at 17. Did you fulfill it or not? You can't stand there and say, my husband said, pa! Touch your neighbor. Say, my sister, wake up. Wake up! All this complaint is okay. If you don't get up, your world will not get up to celebrate you. See the way you people are celebrating. Here, when they come, my name, see the way you sh shouted. I had to get up. I was standing in that market that they trying to price one bag of rice. I was thinking of how I'm going to divide the bag, the, the rice into small, small leather. One woman called me while I was standing with the malam. And she said, Mommy, I said, I'm going to give you, is it three or four bags? I started crying in the market. <laughs> I said, God, you know why I was crying? I said, so you saw my heart. Mommy said, I stepped out in faith. <laughs> I wrote down some names. I said, these people are people that can help. Let me call them. Let me contact them. Just like she said. I said, I agree. I finished praying that day around early hours of the morning. I carried my phone. I wanted to start calling them. The Holy Ghost said, don't call anybody. I will do it. I thought it was a joke. I was standing in the market. I was trying to buy a biscuit when my phone alert rang. The first one I saw, it was, I think it was 300,000. I just stopped. I said, Jesus, 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 Jesus. The girl selling the biscuit said, Madam, I hope there's no problem. So I used it as an opportunity for evangelism. I said, it is what God just did for me. I said, see what I was with that? That's why I said, evangelism is a lifestyle. That's just opened an opportunity for evangelism to tell her that God is real. And I gathered them. They were plenty by, I used to hear that in Catherine Kuma's meeting, people used to come hours to the time. Last year, Evangelist Vero and Pastor Sarah followed me. Last year, when did they start coming for that program? They, were, they slept. I saw it with my eye for the first time that people can come and sleep. Yes. Because you decided to get up despite all odds. Listen. You must understand the assignment who is sending you. You don't go fear anybody. When a lion is backing an ant, the ant will challenge an elephant. Hey! This year, I declared it again. You know when you do small, you declare bigger. Hiya! That is his name now. Declare bigger. Say, Gada. Again, this year, they say, eh, Rapa has increased. I say, eh, the one we used to give out was about 1.5 to 1.8 to 2,000. This year, they say it's 4,000. But as I'm talking now, already, I already have 230. Right now, like this, before December. He's already there. What am I saying? Listen to me. You want to go here? Like mommy said. Mommy, you started the message. So if I enter my own, it will be too much in the plate. So let me just say here. Let me just help. Eh? You started eh? You understand? Listen. She said, he said, go ye. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Listen. If you understand the commander, the commander says, I am that I am. That is his name. Who is sending you? Why are you the fear? Why are you afraid? There's a woman, every night you close your eyes, you dream you are doing something for God. But to get up and do it, fear will not allow you. You say the money, the money, you reduce God to Naira. God is bigger than Naira. Bigger than Naira. Holy Spirit, Marakosha. There are some testimonies we can't share on the altar for security reasons. People will not believe safe. You keep it to yourself. Let God make it evident. So when you see somebody preaching, they say, Mommy, your courage, your bonus. I know the disciples said that which we touched, that which we handled, that is what we testify. 
May your God not end on your mouth. May your God not end it by pastor. Say, may your own be the God I touch. The God I handle is the God I am testifying. If you are the one, shout fire. I say shout fire. Shout fire. Look at your neighbor. Say neighbor. Say allow me. I want to roar. Now give him a roar. Sit down. I'm going somewhere. So you must understand who is giving the command. The person giving you the command is not a liar. See, God cannot lie. He doesn't have the capacity to lie. The commander cannot lie. The commander is the creator of the universe. The commander is the one who calls those things that be not as though they were. The commander is the one who looks at darkness and bring out light. He looks at darkness and bring light out of darkness. The commander is the one who can create something out of nothing. Hey! He said, what is impossible with me? That's the person sending you and you are dragging your feet. You are staying and crying overnight. Say, I don't know how I'm going to do this. Did you send yourself? Are you the one that sent yourself? He said, when I sent you, did you lack anything? No. Hmm. <laughs> I was preparing to come to Makodi. I had already started thinking of how I'm going to get fuel and the person that will drive me down. When they called me from Makodi and said I shouldn't worry, that somebody is going to come and carry me, I said, Holy Spirit, thank you, Jesus. Oh, oh. Yeah. Carry me, there, go. Jehovah, carry me, there, go. There. Oh, take me higher. Jehovah, take me. Not be my fault, though. And they told me again that I shouldn't worry. When I finish, they will take me back. Carry me, there, go. Jehovah. I, I don't know why Mama did that, but I'm grateful. It is an answer to prayer. God is faithful. So that I can become a wonder. If you ask me how I came here, I said they brought me. He said, when are you going? I said, they are taking me back. If you want to clap, you better clap that clap. I am saying this tonight to negate any fear. Negate any fear. Step out for God. Step out for the one that will not leave you in the middle of the water to drown. He didn't bring you to swim to let you drown. He didn't teach you to swim to leave you inside the water to swallow you. Our God is not an irresponsible God. Lionesses that are here. If he gave you an assignment, better stand up. As you get up, the provision will follow you. The provision will follow to meet the vision. Don't let the vision die. Don't let God replace you with another person. Get up and do his assignment. The king's assignment is urgent. I pray that God will give us understanding. According to apostle our great apostle in the house. I learned that one from him. May God give us understanding. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Who is the commander? Matters a lot. Number two, what is the command? The command is go ye into the world and make disciples, teaching them to observe. We teach by example. We teach by example. You can't give what you don't have. <laughs> Like the drama we watched. You can't tell people to live right and you are living wrong. How can a wrong gospel produce right disciples? No. You must become the light to light the light. It takes light to light light. You light a light to light a candle. The candle lights another candle. So the command must be executed by people that have been lighted. And the command is urgent. Hallelujah. And the command is to go and make disciples of all nations. Not just here. Your light should shine from Makodi to the world. In the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise God. And then the commanded. Who is the commanded? For the commanded you must be empowered. That was what mommy just said. There is empowerment for the commanded. He said tarry ye in Jerusalem. Until you are endued with power from on high. Don't attempt it. To go and preach this gospel without power. They will try you. They will test you. If everything you are saying is true, they will test it by fire. So you must be empowered in this conference. If you are not baptized in the Holy Ghost, make sure that before the conference ends, you get baptized and carry fire 
in the mighty name of Jesus. In the book of Acts of the Apostles chapter 2, the Bible says before he left, he had told them to tarry in Jerusalem. Then they went according to his instruction and stayed in the upper room, in the place of prayer. And as ordinary men and women like you were tarrying in the presence of God, suddenly there was a heavy, mighty, rushing wind all from heaven, landed on them tongues of fire, sat on them mere mortals, and turned them into immortal beings in, amongst mortal men. They said the gods have come to dwell with us. Their life became like the lives of the immortal God because God was sitting on them. It left their head and tagged their heart. Men and women began to perform signs and wonders. Mommy said signs follow. We don't look for signs. They follow us. This one that you are running from prophet to prophet. I pity you. They collected your money, gave you phone number, gave you wrong prophecies, scattered your life. Because you refuse to wait. Tarry until you are endued with power. Now you have become a shadow of yourself. You went to them, they slept with you, collected your money, gave you disease. You come back to church empty. God punish the devil. Here you know the truth. And the truth will make you free. I pray in the name of Jesus that that power that he promised you will be the one to carry it to your next generation in the mighty name of Jesus. That's the summary of what mommy just told us. Now turn your Bibles to the book of John chapter 4. Hallelujah. Praise God. I don't like the place now. What is happening? Adrenaline, eh? Something is entering, eh? Some drip is entering. You are thinking. Some people are saying, mm, this woman is making sense. <laughs> Praise God. John chapter 4. Let's go. Praise God. Say, when therefore the Lord knew how the Pharisees had heard that Jesus made and baptized more disciples than John, though Jesus himself baptized not, but his disciples, he left Judea and departed again unto Galilee. That, and he must need go through Samaria. He must need go through Samaria. Mareko Shande. Then cometh he to a city of Samaria, when, which is called Sychar, near to the parcel of ground that Jacob gave to his son Joseph. Now Jacob's well was there. Jesus therefore being wearied with his journey sat does on the well and it was about the sixth hour there cometh a woman of Samaria to draw water Jesus said unto her give me water to drink for his disciples were gone away unto the city to buy meat then said the woman of Samaria unto him how is it that you being the king of the Jews ask a drink of me which am a woman of Samaria for the Jews have no dealings with the Samaritans then Jesus answered and said unto her, If only you knew the gift of God, who it is that said unto you, Give me water to drink, thou wouldest have, me, thou wouldest have asked him, and he would have given you the living water. I pray that somebody would drink from that living water today in the mighty name of Jesus. Now the chronology of the, his, this particular story is talking about Jesus himself on his way, on, his, on, his, on, on, a, on a particular day, the Bible says he needed to go to Samaria there was an urgent need for him to go to Samaria and the reason for going to that Samaria was because of that one woman there is a woman of Samaria here your generation is waiting for you they must drink from that water you have been giving to all kinds of things and you came for this conference the lioness conference this year after this conference you are going out like the Samaritan woman you will come back with your testimony I'm not talking to everybody the person will shout with a loud amen oh my god you will soon understand where we are going listen to me the Bible says Jesus the king of kings and the lord of lords I told you you must understand who the commander is Jesus needed to go to Samaria the king of kings and the lord of lords suspended everything because the life of one woman was at stake she needed to answer her calling time was passing this woman was going from one man to the other time was going heaven could no longer wait it was an emergency so heaven intercepted her at a program just like this one tonight I pray that this will be your own interception point in the mighty name of Jesus I'm not talking to everybody when you get tired of your situation the yoke on your neck will scatter in the mighty name of Jesus tired of people with all kinds of nonsense complaints small small things my husband say my head is big so I'm not going to church again 
said, that man is a very young man. Do you know what he told me? He said, my nose is small. Because of that, you were doing usher, you stop. He said, because he's even going to that church, I'm not going to church again. I pity you. You don't understand who Jesus is. You don't understand who God is. You don't understand your creator. You don't understand your maker. But my prayer in the name of Jesus is that Yahweh will open your eyes. You will have an understanding of who he is. Holy Ghost! And your mentality and mindset will change from this program in the mighty name of Jesus. He entered into Samaria because that woman needed to be intercepted. Hey, she was too anointed to be wasted. Too anointed to be wasted. Relationship wanted to waste her. My Marital issues wanted to waste the grace and the oil this woman carried. Hey, she carried the anointing to command the city and she was giving it to human beings. One man to the other. One man to the other. They used and dumped her with the grace that she carried. Heaven needed to intercept. Stand up on your feet and lift up your two hands to God. Say, my father, my father, my destiny shall not be wasted. Oh my God, my God, say, my father, my father. My destiny shall not be wasted. Holy Ghost, open your mouth and cry to Yahweh. Open your mouth and cry to Yahweh. I heard we pray, we pray, we pray, we pray in Remnant Christian Network. Open your mouth and tell the Father, my destiny shall not be wasted. My destiny shall not be wasted. In the name of Jesus. Whatever I want to waste my destiny, I waste it tonight. My destiny will not be wasted. My voice shall be heard. 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 Holy Ghost. Rabba Shata Libra Ramai. Holy Ghost. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. I don't like that your amen. amen. That amen is not anointed at all. Amen. Women roar aloud the amen. amen. Sit down. You will, when, you, when you understand that, you will take this prayer point. You will cry throughout the night. You will refuse to sleep. Until something break out in the name of Jesus. When I got married, I thought that marriage was a bed of roses. From one challenge to another, one challenge to another. It came to a point, I said, I'm not even doing this church thing again. I will go to church, I will go and sit down. My husband is pastor now, I'm not the one that God called. He's the one that God called. So I will sit in my office and lock myself. Anytime when it's time for service, I will just go. Like somebody that has malaria, I will go and sit down. Anything they do, amen, yes. Oh, amen. Thank you, Jesus. Carry my bag. Mommy, where do I say? Hmm. They give me one big chair. Call me mommy. And I'm sitting on that chair. But my life was meaningless. All the dreams God gave me. Everything he told me when I was a single lady. I locked it up and threw it away. One day, he came and met me in the office. He said, so this is where you put yourself. Not my husband. He didn't say my husband put me there. He said, I put myself there. So this is where you put yourself. Congratulations. You will keep locking yourself there. Locking yourself there. One day they lock you in the grave. Locked up in the grave. There are great women now. If you go to the graveyard. Mighty evangelists. Great pastors. Died. Women. Who carry fire. For revival. Locked up. If you had not gone to Boko. See the people who gathered there. Mommy, they were waiting for the rising of that voice. Many are tied to your rising. You refuse to rise. You deny them of the privilege. What's your problem? What's your problem? Sitting down, complain of one thing. You didn't marry. You say, because I'm not yet married. When you marry now, you say, my husband is a devil. Is the reason why I'm not serving God. The husband died. You say, mommy, because the man has not died, I would have been doing great things. They say, why are you not doing this? Because I'm a single mother. So at the end of the day, what's the problem? Nothing. Get up. Get up and serve God. You will stand before him to give account. And there's no marriage in heaven. No marriage in heaven. No marriage. Everybody has his day. When they say it's your time, you come. Your husband is not going with you. You will go alone. To give account of your life to God. Stop the complaint. I don't like this church. It's the pastor's wife that is making me not to serve God. That lie. That lie. Pastor's wife is struggling to make heaven too. All of us want to make heaven. What's your, what's your excuse? He says because they have money. That's why they are serving God. Oh, I pity you. You don't know our story. You don't know where we came from. If I tell you how I came here, you will pity me. Hallelujah. Do you know how many things I sell? So that I can carry this gospel without shame. Do it with integrity. Hallelujah. See my people there, they will tell you. <laughs> This one that followed me by the grace of God is a police officer. 
She's also a tailor. Tomorrow we are doing business in marketplace, right? So we keep this one for tomorrow. That one sold Okrika. Get up. Until she's now doing her PhD. See her. We lifted her today from front of the university. She was selling Okrika until she started doing. See? So what is your excuse? What's your excuse? Before I came here like this now, I, have, I sell soap. I sell room freshener. I sell Isal. Up to now. If you go to my store, you will see them, the chemicals. I will do it in the night so that I can carry my Bible in the daytime and preach with integrity. Right there in the hotel room, they were calling me. I write books. Tomorrow we'll talk about business. Tomorrow, mama, because in this end time, we are not going to, we are not, we are not going to reign with, I claim it. No. If you go to my kitchen, there are times you come to my kitchen, you will see a pay of almost 100,000. I sell it. Today, like this, people are this, I got a, this thing for supply. Yeah. Anna, what you are not ashamed to eat? Why should you be ashamed to sell? What's the problem? What's the problem? What's the problem? As I'm preaching like this, don't you like it? Yes. Eh? These are the things I'm doing. Hallelujah. Amen. Oh. Yo, if you like what I'm preaching, just that's right. Oh, yes. See, this is the this is the this is the lioness spirit we are talking about. When you come to the business realm, you roar. They say, oh, how many people we do this in church? Only you sit down. Group, everybody, your, your, your gum. That is when gum will hold you very well to your share. Not get up and say, Pastor, it's okay. I'll do it. And God will get up with you. When I told them, I said I write books, story books for children because I teach children a lot of stories. I, Bible story. I tell them how we create it and teach them morals, character. The Holy Ghost said, why don't you turn it into books? When I was coming out, I was telling, in my biography, they said they were going to say it. I said, one of the things I do, I write books. They said, mommy, when you are coming, come with your books. I said, okay, no problem. But I told them, I said, they are story books for children. I write them for children. I said, mommy, mommy come with it. Because I read languages and linguistics in the university. That's what I studied. So I wrote about 22. I was showing one pastor's wife today. I spread it on the table. I said this to her. She said, Mommy, where do you find the time? Oh. When the Holy Ghost, how will you describe him now? How will you describe David now? He was a poet. He was a singer. He was a warrior. He was a what again? He was a husband. He was a king. He was a priest. He was a prophet. He was, and he did all. He fought 66 battles according to what? And they say he didn't lose anyone. Nothing spoiled. He did all. The Holy Ghost you carry. Is it for decoration? Only one thing you are doing, you want to die. Only one thing you are doing, you want to die. Only one thing you want to die. Hey, mama, if you are a tailor, sow with anointing. Oh my God, oh my God. Let the inspiration come from Zion. Let the inspiration come from Zion. When we wait, that is how we take. Look, we are entering tomorrow's message. Let me leave this one. Let me go back to where I was before. If you want to clap, you clap. Don't miss tomorrow. Don't miss tomorrow morning. Hallelujah. So, Jesus needed to go to Samaria. And he sat at the well, waiting for this one woman before she's got her finish. Then she comes with her, with her, with her, with her empty water bottle. Crop, 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 crop. Only her. Crap, 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 crap. As usual. Crap, coming to church as usual. Standing as usher as usual. Nothing supernatural about your life. As usual. But that day was an unusual one. May this conference be an unusual one for you. Yeah. After this conference, let something happen to you. Yeah. Let, one, let something reset inside your brain. Yeah. In the mighty name of Jesus. If your amen is louder, take it by fire. Yeah. Say, my father, my father. My father, my father. Don't leave me like this. So. Yeah. Sit down. Sit down. So she comes as usual. She comes to the well. She comes as usual. Alone. Alone. Because they are always loners. Nobody can work with them. They can't keep relationship. They don't have the character. A woman that must go must have character. This one is alone. Swag but alone. Oh my God. Then she comes with her water pot empty and comes to the well. Then Jesus is by the well. She sees a potential man 
because she knows how to handle them. But she didn't know that this one is not like the others. May you meet the real Jesus. I don't know the one they introduced to you, but the one I met changed my life. Oh, things are different now. Something happened to me since I gave my life to Jesus. Let's stop there. So, Jesus looked at her and he says, give me water to drink. What you have been given to others, the devotion you've been given to others, the time you have been given to other things, give me. If you can give me what you are giving to them, I will give you what they cannot give to you. You can gossip, you can spend hours talking, but to pray, you have started yawning five minutes. Jesus said, give me your time. What you are giving to others, give me. I will give you what they cannot give you. Let's continue. Verse 11. The woman now said unto him, Sir, thou hast nothing to draw with, and the well is deep. From whence hast thou to that living water? Art thou greater than our father Jacob, that gave us the well, that drank thereof himself, and his children, and his cattle? Jesus answered and said unto her, Whosoever drinketh of this water shall thirst again. But whosoever drinketh of the water that I shall give him shall never thirst again. But the water that I shall give him shall be in him a well of water springing up to everlasting life. Because of our time, let me just, instead of breaking it in bits. Then 15, the woman now said unto him, Sir, give me this water I, so that I, I test not, so that I will not come here again to drink. Jesus now said unto her, go and call your husband. You see? We're talking about a different, different methods of evangelism now. He started from water, but he was going to the water of life. Are you getting me now? So the woman thought that this, Jesus was trying to toast her. So she was also falling for the toasting, you know. Uh -huh. So she was telling him, you want me to give you water. Uh, where, is your, where is your container? You, you don't have container. If you have container, uh, uh, you know, she was, she, was, she was a professional, you know. So Jesus was like, okay, <laughs> yes, I'm going somewhere. He didn't allow, Jesus didn't allow her to deviate him from where he was going. Evangelism must be strategic. Make it your life. He was talking about water. From water, he entered the water of life. He caught her attention by what she was looking for. Sometimes when they are just in the, in, the, in the office, look for where you can bring God in. The economy is so bad. Things are so terrible. Say, hmm, it is well, oh, we are just looking up to God. You see, this is where God comes in now. Everybody now needs this God. Because if we are looking at government, how will God, you have changed it. Then you say, hmm, it's true. Then from there, you have brought in evangelism. You can stop there for today. Tomorrow you will continue from where you saw. So evangelism is not difficult at all. Hallelujah. Praise God. So Jesus now tells her, okay, give me to drink. And then she says, you don't have anything to drink, blah, blah. Then verse 15. Then, uh, verse, where am I now? <laughs> then verse 16. Jesus now tells her, go and call your husband and come with him. And the woman answered and said, I have no husband. I'm available. Jesus said unto her. <laughs> now, now, she don't deny her husband. <laughs> she, said, <I> have, <laughs> she said, go and call. He said, I have no husband. The woman answered and said, I have no husband. Jesus said unto her, thou hast well said, I have no husband. For thou hast had five husbands. And he whom thou now hast, the sixth one, is not even your husband. You just denied him now. In this one, you have, this is the only true thing you have said today. Jesus said, this is the truth you have said today. Then verse 19, the woman now said unto him, sir, I, I perceive that you are a prophet. How did you know that I have six men in my life? This was the woman that just said, I have no husband, Nana. When Jesus told her, she said, mm, actually, you are right. Are you a prophet? And then our father's worship, she now changed. She wanted to show Jesus that she's religious. He said, it's as if you're a prophet. Okay, let's go there. He said, father's worship in this mountain. And you say that in Jerusalem is the place where we ought to worship. Then Jesus said unto her, woman, believe me that the hour cometh when you shall neither in this mountain nor yet in Jerusalem worship the father. You worship what you know not, but we know what we worship for salvation is of the Jews. But the hour cometh and now is when true worshipers shall worship the father in spirit and in truth. For the father is looking for such to worship him then god is spirit and they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth the woman said unto him i know that the messiah will come which is called christ when he comes he will tell us everything jesus said unto her i 
that speak unto thee, I am she. You see, that is, the, that is the point. If you want to shout, you better shout. Somebody cut it. Somebody cut it. Listen, I'm going somewhere. You see, you must know the commander to be able to carry out his command. At that point, when Jesus told her, I, who is speaking to you? I am the Messiah. Men don't find spirits. Spirits reveal themselves to men. If spirits are here now, they will only allow those they want to see them, to see them. You don't stop. You don't say, hey, the spirits just, no. It, because they wanted you to see them. That is why you saw them. Mm, men don't find them. They reveal themselves. So this is the point of revelation for that woman now. Are you getting me now? At that point, Jesus just revealed who he was to her. He revealed himself to her as the Messiah. My God. See, the discussion kept mounting. Jesus was going somewhere. Now, she wanted to show him she was religious. He took her from religion to, religion to revelation. Now, when he revealed himself to her as the Christ, something happened to her. Listen, this is where I'm going. Listen, listen, quiet. See, if you must go, you must know him as the Christ, the anointed one. If you have never met the Christ, they say this off your hand, Jesus, come into my life. You've, done, you've said it, but have you met him as the Christ? If you have not met him as Christ, you can't go. You can't go. Christ is real. Oh. Hey, you are singing in the choir. Have you met him as Christ? Have you? That is why we, we whine you to sing. When you see the way some people sing, you know they've not met him as Christ. Hey, my husband was diagnosed with, is it hepatitis? One time, the eyes were changing green, everything. And he's a medical doctor. He stopped working for some time because they said he should leave treating his patients and just stay at home. The belly was swollen. Hallelujah. Swollen, he couldn't go to work. The eyes had changed color, getting green. Then he told me one day, he said, my wife, I need to spend time with God. Let me tell God to heal me. Because he had a revelation before that thing happened. They told him in the dream that a storm was coming. He woke up that day, the eyes were green. Belly swollen, liver, everything. He couldn't eat. He had to stay away from work for some time. This was this way I'm going. He now had a dream. After the prayer session, he dreamed that he died. That's a medical doctor. He's not just this. My husband is a consultant gynecologist by the grace of God. And by the grace of God, he's the medical director of Helping Hands Women Hospital in Loko Jakogi State. So, he dreamt that he died. In the dream, they came and welcomed. They said, since you have decided to come, what did you come? He said, I just died. They said, okay, but your mansion is still under construction. That's what they told him in the dream. Your mansion is still under construction. But since you decided to come, let's look for a temporary accommodation for you. Wait, we are coming. So he said the two men left. So when he was sitting down and waiting for them, he said they came and gave him a number. But by the time he opened his eyes, on it, he had forgotten the number. He said when he, he, he was waiting for them, he suddenly remembered that he had a wife and two children. Then my children were two. He remembered that he had a wife and two children. So the sorrow of his wife, he saw me the way I was weeping, started pulling him. So he began to climb down the step. He kept climbing until Kema entered his body. He opened his eyes on the bed. That morning, I will not forget, he woke up in tears. When, <laughs> I don't know how to explain it. He woke up in tears. He was singing as he was waking up. I didn't know what happened. It was when he woke up, he was telling me the revelation that he just had. He died. Hallelujah. So he woke up. He entered his body. He woke up. That was the end of that something. The eye cleared. This is over 15 years till today. Yes. What am I trying to say? Just wait. I went to church that day. And they were singing praise and worship. I have made you too small in my eyes. Oh Lord. Forgive me. Be magnified. Oh Lord. The way the person leading was singing the song. I was saying, does she understand what she's singing? I just came out of a situation where my husband had just been delivered from the hands of death. Hey, 
the way I will sing that song. If you give Lazarus microphone to sing resurrection and the life. Hey, he stayed inside the grave three days with dead bodies. If Lazarus came out and you say, Lazarus, take the microphone. Sing about the resurrection. Lazarus will sing so convincingly that people will repent. Because he's talking about a place he has been. What am I trying to say? If you don't have the revelation of Jesus as the Christ, the anointed one, you can't go. There will be no power behind your going. A little thing, you will be discouraged. You will be discouraged. You see, but people that have caught his revelation as Christ, come my sister, the way you are looking at me, I like it. That's it. If you catch his revelation as Christ, whether husband abandon you, whether wife abandon you, whether children abandon you, you said, I know whom I have believed. And I am persuaded that he is able. I know what I saw. That was what happened to the disciples. Peter said it was a privilege to be crucified upside down. I can't deny him. I die here. Oh, even to crucify me like him is, you are dishonoring him. Crucify me, but I, I'm not worthy to hang like him. Hang me upside down. Hallelujah. Paul said to live is Christ. To die is Christ. What did those people know? What did they see? Oh my God. I say, Father, what called the fathers? What made them do the things they did? Father, let me see it. Let me see it. Let me see it. You want to know what apostle ate to do what he's doing. If you don't eat the same thing, you can't do it. You will be tired. You'll be tired. That's why we are dragging you in church. We are pulling you people. We are dragging because you've not been there. There are pastors that are not born again. They became pastor before they are trying to become born again. Yes. Pastor's wives that have never been to Calvary. At the cross you knelt and were converted. Jesus saved my soul that happy day. Jesus saved my soul. A sinner. I carried the microphone. I remembered what he did for me at Calvary. I'm no longer a slave to sin. I am a child of God. I represent my father with audacity, sagacity, and authority. No apologies. Sit down. Sometimes in marriage, things get tough. <laughs> I told my husband one time, I said, Daddy, I was on my way to heaven when we met. And I'm not planning to change direction now. Yes. You met me as Sister Alice. I met you as brother. Ministry will not make us change direction. Instead, I drop the ministry, but I make heaven. Jesus revealed himself to her as the Christ. Hey, my sister, we must come to Calvary. We must meet him as Christ. This one, we are trying to correct some things we do today. Pride, a little glory. We have puffed you. Have you met the Christ? Nobody ever met him and remained like this. Hey, when John saw him in Revelation, John fell down. He didn't tell John to fall. John fell down. This was the same Jesus he was talking to. He ate with Jesus. He even put his head on his chest. But in Revelation, when he saw him, he fell down. He fell down. Why? He saw the Christ. No human ever sees the Christ. No worker will see the Christ and stand. You must fall. This is my shoe. He's disturbing me now. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Listen. See, if we can stop there today, I want to know him as the Christ. The anointed one. The anointed one. If we know him as the Christ, some quarrels will stop. Yes, some quarrels will stop. 
He didn't tell me. I made her. My husband didn't. Uh, he didn't. He didn't say so. You went to saloon because of that. The whole church know that day that pastor's wife is not happy. You come to church with your face strong, strong like stone, because your husband did not say. You don't know the Christ. You don't know the Christ. One day he asked me. He said, "Who is your audience?" Alice, who is your audience? If I'm your audience, then worship me. Forget about who came or who didn't come. My sister, take the stage. Take the fame, but leave me with the Christ. If I have him, I have everything. I have everything. Hallelujah. Do you know what Jesus did for that woman that day? He showed her what no man ever showed her. That's the man number seven in her life. He revealed to her the sight that no man ever revealed to her. He said, I that speak to you, I am the Christ. Do you know what she did? When you see him as Christ, nothing else matters. Nothing else counts. I'm in the presence of my maker. Nothing else matters. Nothing else counts. I'm in the presence of my maker. She just, she didn't know that she had, she's in the presence of the one who created her. He didn't condemn her. He didn't condemn her. He came to redeem her. He came to deliver her from the hands of the things that used her, squeezed life out of her, and she was still empty. She wasn't, he wasn't like them. I'm in the presence of my maker. When he revealed himself to her as the Christ, nothing else mattered. Even the water pot she brought to the well, she dumped it. Paul said, all things that were gained to me, I counted them as dung for the excellency of the knowledge of the Messiah. I put you in front, in front of my melody. You are all you are old. I'll make room for two. You and I, Jesus. Hey, you are all that matters. You are all that matters. Oh, well, oh. You are all that matters. Oh, eh, oh, eh, eh. You are. When he revealed himself to her as the Christ, I see this woman going down on her knees. Everything she ever thought was important, she threw them on the ground and she knelt down to the lover of her soul. She put him in front of everything and made him the only thing that matters because she caught a revelation of who the Christ was. Listen, 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 listen. I'm going somewhere. Go ye into the world. When she caught that revelation, Every other thing became meaningless. He became all that matters. He became the center of everything. She left her water pot. She ran back to the same city. Where they labeled her a prostitute. She ran back there. She began to talk to them convincingly. Because something had happened to her. She said, come and see a man that told me who everything that I ever was. This must be the Messiah. He had revealed himself to her as the Messiah. That is the only message she carried. Come and see. Come and see. Come and see. Come and see. And the way she spoke, they had no choice. If you read the scripture, 
The Bible says when she was coming back to the well. Oh my God. All of you here. Come. Come. Everybody here. Come. Come. Just come out. Come out. Come out. Come here. You join them. Join them. Join them. Just join them. Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. When she was coming back, she has gone by the power of the revealed Christ. She had been empowered by the revelation of the Christ. Hmm. It's not a question of what you can do for me, but what can I do for you, my Lord? I want you to know my heart is yours. It's not a question of what you can do for me, but what can I do for you, my Lord? I want you to know my heart is yours. I want you to know I'm going to her. She's the Christ. My heart is yours. It's not a question of what you can do for me. But what can I do for you, my Lord? When she came, she came to the well alone. When Christ impacted her, she went to the world. When she was coming back to the Christ, she didn't come alone. She came with the city. She came with the crowd. She came with the city to present him to the lover of her soul. The lover of her soul. Now this is evangelism. That's what we're talking about. Listen. 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 Rebosha. Listen. Listen. Until the Christ you have met lead you to lead men back to him. Mommy told us by our character, by our lifestyle, by the way we believe until people can boldly follow us and bring them back to the well. She brought them back to the well. She brought them back to where she drank from. She brought them back to the source. She brought them back to Christ. Listen to me, my brothers and sisters here tonight. Until you have met him as the Christ. People will not follow you like this. She was too convincing for them to deny. And listen, she didn't come back with few. She came back with the city. She came back with the city. Please, after this lioness convention, let the revelation of the Christ cause you to go back to your different location. Bring men to Christ. Let them bow before your God in your office, in your marketplace. Let them bow to Jesus. Rise up. God bless you. Can you lift up your hands and begin to talk to God and say, Father, open my eyes. I want to see you, Jesus. Open my eyes. I want to know you, Jesus. I want to know you. Is somebody talking to the Christ tonight? I want him to open your eyes. Let your eyes of understanding be enlightened tonight. We have some very few minutes to pray here. Reba Sakata Libra Rabashanta Remnant Christian Network Reka Sata Libra Rabashan Open your mouth and say Father I want to know you more I want to know you more I want to see you Jesus Open the eyes of my heart I want to love you more We are not even doing enough to the lover of our soul We are not doing enough Rabo Shanta Libra Rabashanta Raka Shanta Do you really love him? Do you really love him? How convincing, how convincing, how convincing is your life? Even to your neighborhood, to your children. Holy Ghost. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Wait, we are still going to pray. I told you the story. I said, I locked myself. I said, I'm not talking again. He said, so this is where you want to remain. I got up from that city. He said, after all I did for you, Alice. 
I gave my life to Jesus at the age of 13. He sponsored me through school. He told me when I entered, I entered the church one day, I was wondering, my mother was peeling orange to start her shop, Mami Market in, in Lagos. And Jehovah told me, he said, I will sponsor you by grace. I went to church that day, my pastor said, God said he will be sponsored by grace. Just a 13 year old girl, I lifted up my hands. I said, Father, I am the one you are talking about. In the midst of 10 thousands of people in my church then in Lagos and to the glory of God when I gained admission into the university the first year I gained admission Benway State declared automatic scholarship for all their students in higher institution that was the first scholarship I got the second scholarship I was in second year that second year the university of just said all the best students in the department will be given automatic scholarship they gave me automatic scholarship I was the best student in the department of languages and linguistics they gave me another scholarship I had two scholarships running concurrently in the university Second year, third year, final year, when I was graduating, I came back for my master's and they told me to come back and resume as lecturer. I started lecturing at the age of 23, 24. I got my master's degree, the same place where people were going to pay school fees. I was going to the bursary to collect money with free accommodation as a student. His word said, I will be sponsored by grace. And listen to me. I said, Father, I owe you. I owe you. Oh God, that is why. Anytime demand, <laughs> anytime he says, Put the microphone in your hand. Go and testify. I carry it and start testifying. Because where would I be? My father is a farmer. My mother is a farmer. I entered Ghana the other day. The way they welcomed me. I said I am that donkey. That the Messiah decided to ride on my back. When I was going to leave. They brought me to talk on their televisions, on a podcast. They, they wired it all over the world. I said, who am I? Who am I? When you meet him as the Christ, you can't keep quiet. You can't keep quiet. I'm not talking about the Christ my pastor talked about. I'm talking about the Christ I encountered. I'm talking about the Christ I encountered. I don't know, all eyes closed. Lord, I give you my heart. I give you my soul. Jesus. 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 Some people need to give their lives to Christ today. Some want to rededicate their life. Please come. I want to pray with you before we do the general prayer. I want to rededicate my life. I want to give my life to Jesus. Just come and meet me here. I want to pray with you today. You must go back. You must go back. Like the woman at the well. Let's stop playing church. This God is real. Jesus. Don't wait for... Don't don't wait. Some people wait until others come out. That woman came alone. It's you and your God. It's you and your God. Can you just talk to God? If you want to come down, just join the service. Can you talk to God? Just speak to God. Talk to God. I pity you if you have not met the Christ. I live for you. I live for you, Jesus. Every step. Rebo Sakadet. Talk to God. Forget about your title. Don't let the devil cheat you. Like the woman you came with your empty wet apart. You can't go back the same. No, 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 no. Lord, I give you my heart. Lord, I give you my heart. I give you my heart. still waiting for more women to join them. you can't go back this. thank you Jesus yes Lord I'm still waiting grace is still calling when you 
meet him as the Christ, you have no option. For those of us that are kneeling here, just lift up your two hands. Lift up your two hands like the woman at the well. Lift up your two hands. Today is your day. Today is your day. Today is your day. Today is your day. Mom, your side, can you join me? Let's pray for them. Rebo Open your mouth and say, Father, show me mercy. I can't go back the way I came. For those of us in the congregation, ask that your eyes of understanding be enlightened. I want to know him as the Christ. I want to know him as the Christ. I will pray. I will lead you to pray the sinner's prayer. Then mommy or Sai will, will pray for you. In Jesus', in Jesus name. Everyone here, say Jesus. Say thank you for today. Say Jesus. Today. I believe you are the son of God. I believe you died for me. I believe you are the Christ, the anointed one. Say, Jesus, have mercy on me. Show me mercy like the woman at the well. You didn't condemn her. You, didn't, you are not condemning me. But I confess my sins today. I ask, oh God, Forgive my sins. Cleanse me, Lord, with the precious blood of Jesus. Say, forgive me, Lord. Write my name in the book of life. Say, Jesus, from today, I promise by the power of the Holy Spirit to serve you, to worship you all the days of my life. Say thank you, Father, because I know my sins are forgiven. Thank you, Lord, in Jesus' name. Mommy, Father, I thank put your right hand on your chest as Mommy prays for us. Everybody, please. Thank you, Jesus. I just want you to have an understanding of what you have done today. Even as you have come to give your life to Christ. Thank you, Jesus. You came to give him your life Certainly. as the Savior. What has happened just now is there is an exchange life. He has given you his own life. Thank you, Jesus. To go back to that same place where you, you were to begin to do the work, the labors. You, Jesus. As you go, he is your king. Amen. You go back with him as your savior and king. Amen. That the way you used to walk is no longer going to be that way. Jesus. You are going with his exchange life. He has borrowed you his life. Now that life you brought to this poor Pete, you have given it to him. Thank you, Jesus. And he has given you his own. Father, I thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for the lives of this precious one who have Jesus. come. Because I know right now that there is a rejoicing in heaven. Thank you, Jesus. For the souls that have come before you. And I see that some of them have very heavy hearts. A burden has fallen upon their hearts right now. And I know that you're going to do great and mighty things through their lives. Father, I pray for them that they will not return back to their vomit. Amen. God. But they will be stronger and stronger. They Amen. will go higher and higher. Amen. They will become greater and greater. Amen. But I ask, oh Lord, that your spirit will abide with them. Amen. Lord, that fruits will abide in this world. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Lord, let your spirit alight. Amen. God. Let it alight, oh Lord. You, let your spirit begin to Thank move upon their hearts. Moving them to where they're supposed to be. Lord, that book that you have written concerning them. Lord, today it is triggered open again. Amen. It is triggered open again. Amen. Your work continues in their life again. Amen. Destinies that have been shut down, it's open right now. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Yokes are broken. Amen. Everything that has limited them has fallen off in the name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Father. Thank let your spirit move. Rakapa sika tonya tataya. Rekokomba katia shata tataya. Rakapa tasika tonya teka sakatai. Yes, Lord. Rakopa te sata. Let there be an infilling of your power. Come on, say the korata shata. Leko sika tadia brado sata. Lord, the 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 power. The power to resist sin. The power, the power to resist sin. Not to go back 
the way you came in the name of Jesus. The power to live a fulfilled life. Yakoba Sakataria Nishato. Reketenia Masiko Pataya. Rakabada Sikotonia Tanina Mashataya. Rakopande Siatataya. Rekolia Sikotata. Maketosiataya. Reketenia Bracosia Katila Bracashatata. Yes, Lord. The power to fulfill destiny. It rests upon you. In the name of Jesus. A victorious life you shall live. La Coria Socatata. Manda Sata. Where you failed before. Go back. Go back with the power of God. Go back with the power of God. Ayata. Recoba Sate Corata. Yes, Lord. An infilling, an infilling, an infilling, an infilling, an infilling, I yet to a catola tataya, la brassa catatai, massica to the attack. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. What has happened here today, Father, let it be written, O God. Amen. Let it be written. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Let it be written. Thank you, Father. I ask the Holy Spirit that you will accompany them into the world. Amen. As they do your will. Thank you, Father. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Father, we give you praise. And so shall it be in the name of Jesus. For every other person, please rise up on your feet. Everybody, for, for us here, just rise up on, on, rise up on your feet. God bless you. You are going to take this song with me and I want you to mean it from the depth of your heart. You see, that's where the beginning of the go. Go is a command. It's, it's an urgent command, an authoritative command, an authoritative order from the commander of the armies of heaven. And that command was given to disciples, people that have experienced him as the Christ. Hallelujah, you have no right to go when you have not been sent, when you have not received him, when he has not revealed himself to as many as believe to them. Did he give, and as many as received to them, did he give the power to become the sons of God? John chapter 1, verse 12. Can you lift up your hands, everybody? We are going to make a confession right now. We are going to take this song. We have rounded up. I'm no longer a slave to sin. That's how I want you to sing it. I am a child of God. Everybody, 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 everybody. I'm a slave to sin. Oh, yeah. I am a child of God. Listen, listen. Spirits travel in the direction of sound. As you say it, so shall it be. Lift up your hands, let the devil hear that you are no longer a slave to sin. You are a disciple of Christ. Lift up your hand. Choir, can you lead us? One, two, go. Voices one to go. Let Satan hear it. I'm no longer a slave. Now make Jehovah happy and confess it one more time. A slave. No longer a slave. Hallelujah. The Holy Spirit wants to hear it just one more time for the last time. Are you sure? Louder.
Now with the instrument for the last time. No, no longer. Hallelujah. I am a child of God. Hey. Lioness, one more time. Hey. I'm no longer a slave. Hey. I'm no longer a slave. you have said it so shall it be and as child of God you are coming back like that woman you will come back with evidence you will come back with testimony in the mighty name of Jesus I was telling them in my city in local I say God I want you to prove to these people that the God I'm preaching is not a scam the day that they were, they, I was invited to a church I think in Lagos and they paid the ticket I carried the ticket to go and stand in the airplane as I was entering the plane, they said, no, ma, you are not supposed to be there. Come and stay at the back of the pilot. I didn't even know what was first class. I'm no longer, I'm no. <laughs> oh, my God. The spirit of God is separating light from darkness. You will be separate in your family. If you are the one I'm talking to, lioness, shout a louder amen. amen. By this prayer, you will not look like your father's house. You will not look like your mother's house. You are separated by fire. You are separated by light. You are separated by understanding. You are separated by the Holy Ghost. In the name of Jesus, let the angels hear your name. Lioness, run that amen. I want to, I want to go and, I want to sit down. My time is up. Now lift up your hands. My time is up. One more time. I want you to sing that song. I'm no longer. so much for listening to the end i pray that whatever that you have listened to today you are not going just to keep it but you're going to do what god has told you through this message and please kindly if you're new here or you are not so i mean you have not subscribed kindly just click on the red button below the video and subscribe to this my channel and also you can share this video with someone else thank you so much and see you in my next video bye